Hello, 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 my fellow engineers. Welcome back to another real world problem. Today I wanted to discuss integration testing and more specifically, later we'll be using Tavern to do some API testing. But first, a little background. So modern software infrastructure can be comprised of several services that all have to communicate with each other in order to produce something that an end user will find useful. The big monolithic systems are now split up into several smaller services and integration tests are how we make sure the full product works as expected. I'm sure you've seen similar memes to these in forums where <laughs> there are no integration tests. So in order that an end user doesn't end up looking like this, we need to look at behavioral testing, essentially testing what a user experience should be like. In my company's case, an end user would log in and then we would use AWS Cognito to authenticate that user and its privileges then use API Gateway to facilitate endpoints that invoke lambdas that use Python uh, to speak to a Postgres database in the back end. Then depending on the request made, we would return some data to the end user back up the line. But how do we test this experience? This is where Tavern comes in. Tavern is a PyTest plugin that makes requests to specific URLs and asserts against the response. It's really easy to use. It's written in YAML and it does the requests and asserts against the response for you, so you don't have to write any further code if you don't need to. So with that said, let's look at it in action. So if you want to follow along, this is the pip file I'm using with the dependencies required for this application. So I've set up a really simple Flask application for a fruit store. Uh, here's our data store. It's just a dictionary with fruits, uh, but you can imagine this being a database like Postgres, for example. We also have a couple of endpoints that we'll want to test against in Tavern. We also have some really ill-advised authentication, but you can imagine this being more of a robust system. To start a Tavern test, you need a Tavern YAML file, such as my test through api.tavern.yaml file here. Inside here is where we'll set up the test itself. And it's important to think of these tests as a way of mocking behavior of a client using the system. Uh, they'll need to log in to get credentials, typically in the form of some token, and then they'll use that token as part of the headers to make the request. The same way that you would set up a potentially a unit test, you need to do this for Tavern as well. And Tavern can do this by using PyTest marks, uh, the use fixtures, and then specifying which fixture in the conf test file as you would any normal PyTest test. So in our example here, we have this login details, which is a fixture in this conf test file here. And I've just done something very simple that will just return this authorization token that is used back in the really ill-advised authentication uh, method that, that I've set uh, in the main application. Uh, obviously, you need to think of this more as uh, this would be where you would set up your AWS Cognito login to receive the token back uh, from, from AWS Cognito. This would also be where you could set up your test. So maybe you would want to truncate your tables and add some data. Uh, maybe the data is for a specific test scenario that you want to test against. Uh, also bearing in mind that you want to be doing this in an environment that you're able to uh, truncate the tables uh, that you want to test against. Obviously don't do this in production. So this fixture will return back this authorization token and we're able to access this by using uh, curly braces and sticking the login details uh, in between. And what this will essentially do is Tavern will read this as whatever has been uh, returned from this fixture. You can also return multiple items here. So you can return a tuple. Maybe you would want to return a username, for example. And Tavern is able to read this by accessing it by indexing. So if I wanted to continue using this ID token, I would just set it as the uh, first item as we've put here. Tavern assertions work as the following. So under the keyword of response, you set your expected return values. So in our happy path scenario, we expect a status code of 200. And then for the endpoint, the JSON response should be a list of the fruits in our API. So if we go back to the app, you can see our endpoint should be returning this list. So let's get our application running and then maybe we can get some tests running from Tavern. So there you go, it's up and running. And you can run your Tavern test just using 
PyTest. So we can go to the terminal here. I use pipenv to run my PyTest. And if we run that, great, we've got a one passing test. So let's build a test for an unhappy path for, say, an unauthorized user. Given that we don't need to have the setup that gets the authorization token in this test, we can create a whole new test without it. Uh, it should hopefully speed things up, especially if this was a bigger integration test. That's done so like this. And we'll change the name of this to um, Now in our Flask application, we actually return a 401 with a token not authorized as part of the message. So inside of here, we're gonna remove the marks. We don't need the setup. I'm gonna change the name here as well. 401. And what we'll do here is just change this to unauthorized token. And what we should get in the response is a 401 and we should have a message that says, well, let's go back and pick it up. All right, let's give that a try. So back to our terminal, let's run PyTest. And there we go, two tests are now passing. So now we have one final endpoint that we want to test against. This is our get fruit quantity endpoint, which also requires a login. So what we can do is we can add to the stages in our previous test and use the authorization login details that we were using before so that we don't have to do this multiple times and slow down the process of integration testing. So in this case, we'll just give this a copy. Get rid of the stages there, it's a new name. And this is called the get fruit quantity endpoint. We also want to specify the fruit that we want to, to be getting the quantity from. Our endpoint looks like this, so actually what we need is this quantity. And we want to specify the fruit, and in this case, we'll do apple. And what this should do is this should go into our data store, it should select the fruit name, and it should return the quantity of that fruit. In our case, this is seven. So in the happy path scenario, we should have a SAS code of 200, and our response from the JSON should be seven. So now if we run that test, there we go, we passed the two tests. Now, as you can see, it's only passed two tests. And this is because even though we have three tests, uh, it's coming under one test name. And this keyword of test name is how it separates the tests in PyTest. Finally, we don't have to use Tavern to do all the assertions. If we wanted to assert against something that was slightly more complex, you can use the verify response with a keyword and set a function for it to verify against. So for example here, we can actually set verify response with, and then we can set a function. And in our case, I've got this integration test assertions function, which I've got a method called check through endpoint, which takes the response that Tavern gets, and we can do some assertions with it. Now, obviously, in this case, I've just done the same assertion as we have in the Tavern test, uh, but obviously you would use this for more complex testing. So let's set that. And then you set the method name. So inside of here, let's copy the method name and add that there. Now we can run PyTest again. 
and there we go we've got another passing test and um, one handy little trick you can do is use tavern's core run function to debug what you would do is have from tavern core import run and down here you can just simply run the yaml file test fruit api .yaml. and if you set a debug point here you can actually look at the response that tavern is getting from your api and you can go to the the debugger here and here's your response hopefully you can use that to to help you so there you have in a nutshell a way of testing your api this is how my company are currently doing it um, and hopefully it can help you too if you have any questions leave them in the comments below and i'll catch you on the next one